Grand Rising, Wonderful Souls, and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back, my lovelies. Nice to see you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Thank you for your donations. They are always truly appreciated. And thank you for your emails. Emails, booking readings, sharing your stories, and... Um, just sharing confirmation all of the information for um private and personal readings are in the description box down below with their costs okay anyone that is interested in um partaking in the raffle that i am doing there will be a tombola on the last day of august and um i will be picking out three lucky winners who will be getting personal uh readings with me 30 minute live readings which i don't do any other way okay if that's something that you're interested in please have a look if there is a red x next to the number it means it's already been taken please ensure that if you are paying through paypal um which i'd prefer um that you are doing it not through for family make sure you're doing it through the business side and also can you please then email me because my messaging isn't working at the moment on there and just email me telling me what number that you have chosen if you do not do this i will have to refund you okay so please let me know now the message that came through is someone needs to get something off their chest but i'm hearing um it's a song by sean paul and uh spice wine wine and go down what's it called go down go wine and go down go wine go down go and i can just hear that going over and over and over someone needs to get something off their chest and it may be something a little bit um i say spicy well i don't know if this is someone that's got like competition they think they're finer than you they can feel what they want there should be no competition right you've got um when organizing like for like so this is my virgo card and then you have believe you are magic upside down so somebody is definitely trying to project something towards you or they see you as a threat in some way let me also say though that this is a timeless collective reading this is not a personal one okay so some things are going to resonate and things some things aren't there are people that keep leaving really shouty messages in the comment section going this does not resonate if it doesn't resonate it doesn't resonate have a look at another video <laughs> you know this if you want it to resonate and you want it to be kind of like every single thing oh my gosh get a personal reading okay because i am that baddie and i am that good okay i tooted my own little horn here now i've got this song going through my head still wine and go down lighten up an owl a crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation somebody is pushing towards some sort of tower energy towards you but the thing is as well is that towers are an opportunity for us to grow because we let the things that we no longer resonate fall away from us so that what is left can be reborn and grow um i must also say that you know as we both hold masculine and feminine energies if i say he she masculine feminine male female take it as it resonates okay please use your discernment and throw away what does not resonate um anything that comes up that uh, talks about legality talks about courts talks about um health um accounting housing anything that is to do with professional sectors please ensure that you are using your discernment that you aren't just taking the advice that you get in this video or any of my videos personal or collective and then if it doesn't pan out the way that you wished it to, that you turn around and be like, oh my gosh, she said this would happen. Use your discernment, okay? Because I am not to be a substitute for legal advice. I am not a substitute for health advice, um, for any of that. You have to use your God-given common sense, okay? Sorry for coming through harsh, right? Because we've got Mercury retrograde, retrograde coming up and I am a Virgo. Now you've got here, fear nothing upside down. Whoever this is, whoever this person is with this song, um they could be caribbean um some that mm, i'm getting like this person there's something about the way that you move that someone really likes and this other person's feeling threatened or someone doesn't like the fact that you move so well and i heard for someone specifically for a white girl for others it's just they don't expect you to be as suave or as smooth as you actually are and it says here, notice the miracles and it's upside down. So someone here is wanting you to kind of stop. Why are you glowing so much? Why are you glowing so much? Continue. Okay. And then you've got entrepreneurship. 
there's somebody here who doesn't like your glow up they don't like the fact that you are going to glow up even more and it says tell your friends your goals this could be somebody within your circle or this is somebody who is talking within in circle going how did they get there first how are they able to produce this this and this and i wasn't or watch me watch me surpass them okay they think that they're a baddie or they think this they got the moves watch now you've got blue moon and i know we've got a blue moon coming up on the end of this month i don't know if it's the 30th or the 31st but it says now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and seed and sow seeds for the future and it's upside down and when I put this down where I have next to uh, notes the miracles upside down, someone here is, and I, do you know what? I really dislike when I don't say exactly what um, message comes to me the minute that it does. And I'm like, no, 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 I'll leave that. Because I felt like going, let me clear my throat. Um, let me clear my throat. And this is blue and it's upside down. This is your throat chakra. Excuse me. Everything's been dropping today. I've been dropping things and knocking into things, right? So someone here doesn't like how graceful you are and they want, I heard I want to knock this person back a couple of pegs. So there's something that's going to happen on this blue moon they wish to do. Something to do with your business plans or ideas that you have, okay? Some sort of expansion that's coming for you. This person's trying to block your throat chakra and I've heard to prepare and gargle your throat gargle your throat with like salt water and stuff one because it kill bacteria anyway but two because it is highly protective salt cleanses protects and grounds doesn't it simplify you've got simplify coming out right somebody's going to try and do something i heard the cat's got your tongue why did i hear the cat's got your tongue because where i've put this is next to the continue card that's really interesting as well i've not actually looked at this properly because this has got like somebody's properly watching you see that someone here is either watching from a screen from their laptop um or they're actually physically watching you in real time and then you've got a crow on top of this woman's head right <clears throat> it's a crow looking one way and there's a random person at the back here so someone has a familiar or someone has like a little birdie almost like what's his name for series from um game of thrones because he, he just he always knew everything and they'd be like who told you and the black like, little birdie came and told me um whoever this person is is watching you this person needs to get a, get a life I, I heard someone say they need to get a job so this person maybe they may have a lot of time on their hands and they are watching you glow up and they're vexed how is it that they can't do it as well as you can take the time this person feels really rushed they feel really rushed or an offer may come in for you when it comes to a job offer and you're being told that either the confirmation or the warning for you is if they try to rush you into doing something okay look nefarious reasons sorry cards are completely hidden this is cancer moon and cancer in reverse we've got a lot of blue in here okay Spend time with family or helping others avoid situations that could be a drain on your emotions and it's upside down. There is definitely someone, whoever this person is, um, they're either having issues at home with their family, they may live with their family. They may put a mask on when they go to see their friends that everything is actually all right or they might go out and drink quite a lot. Or they may go to house parties quite a lot. Um, but they wear, they completely wear a different mask to who they actually are, how they actually feel. Because a lot with that yellow on there, they like to um, imagine that they're very carefree or show people that they're very carefree. There may be also a networking opportunity for you coming up when it comes to something that you are building or creating. And this person's watching very closely. So I heard mine, and then I'm seeing like the the. Um, the seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. It's giving me that energy. Think bigger, think bigger, think bigger. They've got more birds on here as well. So this, this is the thing as well. They want you to be very focused on... There's something about kind of getting you to narrow your focus, to really narrow your focus. You're not looking at the bigger picture and you have to remember as we come into um, Mercury retrograde and I know this is a timeless reading so if you're watching this at another time than when it's actually brought out that's fine you have to take what resonates but there is definitely this energy as, as Mercury retrograde comes in then wanting you to really narrow in on 
specific things from the past that may still be a trigger or a wound for you and only focus on that because by doing so and there's also this energy when I look at notice the miracles with it being in reverse this is also talking about looking at only the negativity or looking through that lens of this happened and this happened to me it happened to me it happened to me rather than I'm looking back at this or Mercury retrograde has brought this back up for me so that I can actually heal anything within my family or within my sacral chakra within my fourth house that may be affecting my yin my feminine flow you know irrespective of gender because that comes to do with creativity with it being upside down whoever this person is that puts on this this mask definitely has some sort of creative block and that might also be why they feel rushed to produce something i don't know if they are watching you through a tv screen through because you may be on television you may that then you may have a blog of your own but there's some way that this person is viewing you or recording you or something along those lines and i heard someone here as an artist or a budding artist and this person doesn't understand how you're producing quicker than they can copy. You've got moon in Libra, avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships. Exactly. So this is a time um, to be focusing on any past hurts when it comes to family wounds. And we all have them, you know, no judgment here whatsoever. I've been wearing a lot of orange lately, so maybe that's kind of like a, a hint for me to do the same, right? Um, but there's definitely this um, need, want, intent, encouragement from your guides, from your ancestors. And I heard from your star being. So for whoever is, whoever sees himself as a star seed, that's the word. You have your star family saying now is the time to kind of help yourself weigh out those those scales, almost like Anubis when he's, you know, weighing the heart of man next to the, um, the feather of Mayat. You're really being encouraged. Um, to take time to balance those scales and it's not saying that they're really out of balance but with mercury retrograde being here we can sometimes take that magnifying glass and look way too hard and be really really critical with ourselves um and you're really being encouraged especially with that pink and purple coming out and i heard for someone it's kuan yin or one of the taras um and i heard jai tara ma ma jai tara ma so someone here, um, if you work with Tara, she's really calling to you. And if you don't, but that resonates, she may be calling to you to work with her. Um, but you're definitely being encouraged to look at heart space healing in connection to family and how you voice trauma or things that are triggering you now. Because we do have um, cancer in, you know, moon in cancer and blue moon both in reverse. OK, but you, you have this energy of that that song wine and go down girl whoever this person is this person has deep-seated wounds and that's not a judgment it's just an observation but this person hides it and they're projecting they're definitely project there's something that they wish to stop happening on the blue moon okay and that continue is simplified can i get clarity on that Ooh. take care of yourself has come out okay now, I don't know why I'm getting like a hint of a threat in there. A hint of a threat came out in that. We've got mooning in Capricorn. Put aside emotional concerns and focus on achieving or increasing financial security. I feel like um, whoever this person is that's kind of like in secret competition with you or trying to produce the same um, artwork for some people, the same content for other people, whatever that might be for you, um, it's definitely this person is worried about finances and there is definitely an encouragement from them for you to worry about finances and um, this entrepreneur this entrepreneurship um with take the time in reverse and new with moon in capricorn do you know what i'm really kind of like stumbling over my words let me just clear this out i clear it out any blockages i remove and return to source I return to the light <clears throat> okay okay that's a bit better yes 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 I don't know if this whoever this person is um I heard there were so many things that I want to say to you but the energy that I'm getting is that if they were faced with you they wouldn't say anything and I keep getting this oh hi girl like they'd kind of like smile to your face instead and give you loads of like fake compliments 
they may be a they may be um someone who's a fake fan if you have like i heard there's someone on instagram if you have social media and you have people that comment on your artwork on your music on um for some of you you may be tarot readers or oracle readers you may have somebody and you have to use your i heard your bs detector there's somebody here who comments regularly and they're always like, you know, you are amazing and blah, 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 or thank you so much. And they may use the same, co they may say the same comment for some. Um, you know who they are. And I think there's a worry here that they, they don't want to say too much because they know that you can read them. But they are definitely sending some sort of block to your throat chakra or they want you to be... Um, less articulate in how you enunciate your words how you form syntaxes how you you know how you converse or how you uh, think out loud how you communicate with others um, and how you communicate with your family members especially if there are things that need to be smoothed over things that need to be focused on and how you do that with quite a gentle you know tone um, you've got on here lighten up Think bigger and lighten up. Yeah, there's definitely someone's putting a magnifying glass over over you, over your throat chakra, and it's definitely building up to this blue moon because you've got full moon in reverse, and it says take time to relax, recharge, and replenish your inner strength, and it's upside down. Someone here might actually just be working overtime as well. I don't know if uh, I heard shifts. Stop taking so many shifts. That will be for someone here. Someone is taking way too many shifts. They're working overtime and you're really being asked to rest, even if you don't know. Um, I, I'm getting someone here has either a lot of Virgo in their chart or they have control issues. And that isn't, you know, um, I'm a double Virgo. So I get it. All right. And it's not I'm not calling you out or, you know, going, you know, shame, shame, shame. Um, but someone here likes to know what's coming next or they like to know what well, if i'm going to relax what am i going to be doing while i relax chill someone's really being asked to chill because something's going to come to you um some sort of financial something is going to come to you i heard a change in perspective and i can see like an ancestor whispering into someone's ear and i'm really looking at this take care of yourself for someone it might actually be going out and like um doing breath work under a tree Someone else is actually going swimming. Someone needs to go to like a natural lake or a river. Or if you live near an ocean, you're being told to get in the water more. And so I just heard someone go, I do. Keep doing it. Okay. You've also got frog here. That was coming out a lot in one of my readings a couple of days ago. The path has been cleared for you to make a change that previously seemed unachievable. And that is in the line with entrepreneurship take the time and uh, I, I keep wanting to say new moon in Capricorn and I don't know why moon in Capricorn put aside emotional concerns and focus on achieving or increasing financial security and you've got frog coming here so this is a um, there may have been a block when it comes to someone's finances or it could have been your perception towards finances is what was putting the block in in the first place and you definitely have somebody in the background here who was Either they have a lot of issues when it comes to finances, when it comes to, I heard to men, for someone here. Um, you've got the owl, a crisis, this came up before, will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. This is coming down to um, this person. I don't know if something a friend said to them about you, I heard made them vex, it made them really angry because they realise that you couldn't be swayed or you couldn't be knocked down easily or you are too, I keep hearing the BS detector, you're too good at reading situations and reading, um, I had lies, reading lies. I'm watching this programme on Netflix, I've watched it before but it was ages ago, it's called Better Than Us and it's a, um, a Russian programme about um, a future where loads of people use like AI bots um, you know, to help around the house or to do the shopping and blah, blah, blah. And there is this one um, new bot that's come over from China and it doesn't have all its papers with it. But this guy wants to, you know, get it out into mass uh, production and it just leaves. 
it leaves and it decides that this child is going to be its primary user and it's going to have its own family and it can pick up on emotions. It's an empathic bot, in other words. And there was something in there where it's like it can read when someone's lying straight away. Like that. And there's something here with something was said or they said something to a friend or to a friendship group about you or about your content or about your glow up or about how you got there or something along those lines and either that per whatever the friend said may have been quite um i was going to say quite innocent but i heard no it wasn't this this friendship this this circle someone in the friendship group knew they were lying about you or knew that some sort of information that they had said about you didn't add up and it may have caused some sort of argument or passive aggression something and they kept quiet about this they're, they're definitely keeping their mask on i'm seeing someone smiling but without their eyes because again with that moon in libra avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships this person is trying to smooth something over okay and especially with moon in cancer in reverse there's something i don't know if Whoever the friendship circle is, whoever their friends are, may know the family also. I heard embarrassing, something embarrassed them. Something embarrassed them. And it says on here, it is easy to make a ripple and that's upside down. And then you have moon in Leo. It is an important time to guard against being self-centered, over opinionated and pushy or pushy and it's upside down. So there was definitely something that was done, whether, and I heard Rumour Has It, and it's a song by um, Adele. Rumour has it, rumour. Um, there was definitely something going around the rumour mill that people aren't either believing now, or people are kind of figuring out that it was a lie with intention. And people, it's almost like, the circles or like the soirees or get togethers that before was very much kind of like this person's in the middle and they're giving the gossip to everyone else and everyone else is like, oh my gosh, yes man, yes man, yes man, yes man, has now changed and that person isn't the centre anymore giving the gossip because when you actually look at this card, you can see this person's here, she is at the forefront, she is the brightest, everyone else is kind of like a bit of a muddle. But now, as much as she wishes to be the brightest, there's people talking in the background. There's loads of people kind of like going, Psh, really? And there was definitely, I don't, I had bet. And I know that that can be used as a, um, a term or a slang term. But I'm getting also that someone, she bet on it. She bet on something. She bet she could do something. She bet she could do it better. Embracing perfect colour with crayons and it's upside down. And then you've got um, Moon in Leo as well. This person had a massive wobbler over something. What did they have a wobbler over? What did they have a massive wobbler over? Oh, throwing it on the floor. That might be why I kept dropping things today as well. She dropped the ball on something. And I'm saying she. How interesting. And it says the moon totem hair is an auspicious time for new beginnings. There was something that she thought she could stop. And I'm saying she just because I'm picking up a lot of feminine energy. There was something she thought she could stop. But you've got to remember the, the hair. And for some reason, I'm thinking of like the Mad Hatter. And like, um, no, not the Mad Hatter, the White Rabbit is always rushing. And it says take time there. This person is rushing. There's something they're trying to get together. And they don't know. Um, they don't know what your next step is when it comes to what it is that you're building. Because I have said in other readings, someone here, whoever this she is, wants to claim what is yours as their own. And if you, are tr if you have ideas for a business of some sort, or if you have ideas of creating something that you wish to sell on mass production, um, you could be a painter and you want to, you know, create a certain amount and then, you know, have an exhibition, for example. Um, this person, I heard they were scrolling through YouTube and they saw it. So I don't know if whatever it is that you produce, you then put onto YouTube or they saw someone else talking about your product 
and they were angry because it meant that other people have already um, labelled it as being yours. They may have been trying to take something, create it, and then get it out there. And there was something in another video talking about mass about going to like um, a lawyer or trying to sue you for your own work. Okay. And it says you will get through this and it's upside down. Well, the thing is as well, she, this is what she wanted for you to feel like unmotivated or for you to either take, what was this offer? It is time, waxing moon. Now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. If there was something that you have been wanting to build, but you keep finding distractions and, you know, just because of life, okay whether that be because you have children and it's a, a very busy household whether it is because you're working or you have two jobs three jobs however many whether it's because you know you have been um you know getting better after being really unwell or surgery or this or that you're being told that um you've had your distractions you've had your rest now is the time to start focusing on those goals even if it means actually creating a list for yourself as, especially as we're going through Mercury retrograde, where there are a lot of de delays, a lot of more distractions, a lot of things that are going to um, encourage it, that ir irritation, you know, and being quite short tempered. Um, that might just be me and my Aries. <laughs> but you're really being asked to um, get organised. So if you know that a certain thing is going to stress you out when it comes to organising, um, whatever this entrepreneur idea is start setting those um step by steps that you want done this first week the second week this third week this fourth week okay because what did i say about aries moon what have you got there moon in aries and it says remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontation <laughs> oh i'm calling myself out right oh my gosh Yes, I have an Aries moon, and sometimes my Aries moon wants to burn-ish to the ground, okay? Don't get me started. So if that resonates for someone here, you are definitely being told, especially if it is time, and now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. Your own personal goals, goals why am I saying girls? Um, your own personal goals could literally be about self-healing, about um, self actualization, especially as we go through this, you know, um, retrograde. You have to take it as it resonates. But I'm going to look down. There is definitely something here about taking um, action. Taking responsible ac um, action is what I'm hearing. Responsible action, because there is something that's being held onto. You've got moon and Pisces, and it says, beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies, and it's upside down. There's an opportunity. opportunity. There is definitely an opportunity here for someone to start um, addressing anything that makes them angry right now, especially looking at past relationships. You also have Moon in Aries, um, Aquarius that has come out. It's a t the time is right for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings and other social opportunities. Somebody has been in hermit mode for way too long. It was the right amount of time, actually, because you needed that to um, kind of go inwards. So no matter what that situation is for you, whether it was that you lost a job and you've been in between one and you're just about to get one, and you've need, you know, so you've been at home, either you know, job searching online, or you've just been going out, meeting as many people as possible to get yourself out there, job wise. But you've kind of kept yourself to yourself. Whether it was you were, you know, going inwards because you had a health condition that is slowly getting better, and you really were isolated. You're being t told now that any repressed anger, anything that you've been holding on to, anything that has kind of lost its spark for you as well. It's time now to start recuperating that and letting go of things, people, places, memories, triggers, traumas from the old you, the person that you aren't anymore. Beware of indulging negative or depressive tendencies. The thing is, look, if you're depressed, that is, um, you know, a chemical imbalance in the brain. So I can't actually say to you, don't be depressed. If you, um, you know, however especially if we were talking about taking responsibility, 
your body, your mind, your soul, and how you look after that is your responsibility. If you suffer from depression, and I am not a doctor or a therapist, so you don't have to take this advice, but I will say it anyway. You know, it, if you do suffer from depression, and I have in the past suffered from depression and was medicated for it, um, there is that responsibility to ensure that you are taking your medication, that you're going to those therapy sessions, that you're doing things to help bring down stress, anxiety in your body. Otherwise, you are just going to be sitting in victim mentality, even if it is a chemical imbalance, because our mental health is part of who we are. It's not all of who we are. and We are not our thoughts. We are not our thoughts or our body. We are consciousness. Um, so make sure that you are, you know, if it's okay not to be okay, but make sure you are supporting yourself and reaching out for support. Someone needed to hear that because you've got call of potentials in reverse. Whoever this person is, who is super jelly, and we get ready for this journey. This person, um, there's a want or will for you to stay stuck in something. So if you do have mental health issues that you aren't getting support for, you're, this is really your confirmation that you are worthy and that you need to go and get yourself that support. Okay, take that first step in going and saying, I'm not okay, because this person here wants you to fear yourself. And I, I, I want to know why, but I might have to find out in another reading, so I don't want it to get too long, because look what it says on there. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. Anything else that would like to come out? Anything else that would like to come out? We've got Gemini. Stress may be an issue during this time. Someone is projecting um, this energy onto you, or you may just work a very high stress job, or you may just suffer from anxiety and stress. OK, but this being purple, this is the reason why I thought this was being sent towards you, because this is very much to do with your crown and your third eye. OK, <coughs> which is why it says now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals, which is right next to uh, moon in Gemini talking about stress being a factor. So this is definitely in with simplify. You're you're being asked to be quite um blunt with yourself the same way you would be with a friend if a friend was like do you know what don't sugarcoat it what do you feel that i need to change in my life or what do you feel like i need to remove from my life for it to be happier for it to be you know to have more flow more freedom you're being asked to do the same thing and this is almost like a message coming from one of your guides because you've got sagittarius coming out okay and it says be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course i told you that at the end of august this Whoever this person is, is trying to bring in some sort of, um, I heard, psychological attack. So it's something to do with your crown and your third eye and how you look at yourself and how you speak your truth as well and how you speak your truth to others. Okay. You've also got the cat. Make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to the metaphysical world around you. And that's upside down. Okay. That's confirmation of what she's trying to do. But that your advice that you've got there is fair nothing. Any other advice that needs to come out? Any other advice, please? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That was a very shouty one. And it says, get out of your own way and learn to defend yourself. So one, get out of your head. Make sure you're reading your energy so that it becomes second nature. So you know whether the energy that's coming towards you is yours whether what you're feeling is yours or whether it's someone else's. Have you picked that up by accident? Has it been sent to you on purpose? And learn to, your, and learn to defend yourself. What I would like to do before I go is just get a, um, how would they like you to defend yourself? How would your guide like you to defend yourself? Let's have a look. Jupiter. Jupiter is known as a planet of luck and abundance. Where it's placed in your birth chart will uncover how you experience fortune, wealth and success. So. Part of how you protect yourself is also to do with actual finances. Capricorn coming out. So this is to do with some sort of opportunity that's coming forward. If someone tries to rush you into taking something from them, if somebody tries to rush you into signing something, especially over Mercury retrograde, and irrespective of when you watch this, if it's not Mercury retrograde, if someone is trying to rush you into anything and telling you that it's really, really good for you, stop and think <laughs> i want to say stop drop and roll because it will be a big burning bush of shiza okay 
And you've got here saying the placement of Neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream. Listen to your dreams. Follow your intuition because there is a difference between intuition and fear, okay? Because fear will just give you that, oh, if you do this, oh, oh, it's very breathy and worrying and it makes your heart go. Whereas your intuition is clear, it's calm, and it is just that, it's that gentle voice that will pull you along very, very slowly and at, at your pace, at your pace. OK, so don't be governed by fear and do not be led by fear. If someone is like, oh, my gosh, you have to take this deal. It's the best deal. You know, the stocks are so high and blah, blah, blah. And if you don't, you're going to miss out. They are thinking about themselves. They are thinking about what they're going to get, because it's like going into um, you can tell which shops, you know, charge uh, ridiculous amounts of money and they get the highest commissions compared to the ones that don't, because you will have. Um, have I said that right? Well, yeah. It's, you look at like shops who just, they, they have a really high turnout and they just want you to buy things and leave because they play really loud music and um, the people that work there aren't very, very attentive. Now, this is my opinion, not facts don't come for me if you are someone that works in the service industry. Um, and the clothes or whatever it is they're selling is really packed together and it's rush, rush, rush. It's see what you... Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. It's almost like going into T T TK Maxx. You know, everything's right in front of you. And they want you in and out as quickly as possible, make as much money as possible, get that deal as quick as possible. If someone is rushing you like that, then they are literally just after the mood off for themselves. Whereas when you have the other kind of shops that are a little bit more high end, you know, that person who works, they will come over and ask you if you need help, may guide you through the shop. The shop is going to be a lot more spacious, a lot more serene. The music's a lot lower and they will come and ask you, do you want me to get it in a different size? Have you tried this spray or blah, blah, blah. My point that I'm making, and it was a very long one, is that whoever it is that comes forward with whatever shiny, shiny thing for you, ensure that you are checking to see whether or not it's, you know, an actual diamond or whether it is that that fake zircona stuff all right and you've also got virgo on here so this may be happening in virgo season which is coming straight up you've got scorpios and you've got neptune please listen to your dreams i keep saying this in a lot of my readings it's going to come up a lot more because with Scorpios being very passionate, intense and secretive, they can also be extremely private and guarded with their emotions. And then Neptune, you're really being told to read the energy of people that are coming into yours or trying to come into yours. Because someone here is trying to sell a turd, to be quite honest. Someone is trying to sell a turd. And I have a feeling, because um, I heard it's all made up, whoever this feminine energy is, this person is pushing it. They're really pushing <clears throat> for that to happen. Now, how would you like um, my, my lovely collective consciousness of peoples to defend themselves, though, when it comes to anything to do with like a psychological attack or um, a psychic attack? Three of Cups to the Eight of Swords. That is, do you know what? I think that what I said before more or less caps it off. It's to do with your intuition. You're being asked to look, get out of your own way. Stop doubting yourself. Someone here is doubting themselves or doubting their own um, capabilities or psychic abilities. You have somebody who is going to want to celebrate with you, okay? To do with your career, to do with fame. But Capricorn is also the devil card. So watch out. Because as much as you're being encouraged to go out more, you're being told to read people's energy. But do it low key, okay? Because you've got eight of swords here. You're gonna read who it is who is who's more or less at foul play. Because you've got ace of you've got the ace of wands here. Who it is that's taking steps towards you, who it is that actually has this um in they've in, they've invested in bringing you down. Anything else about defend yourself? Explorer of Swords is in reverse and Explorer of Cups is in reverse. This is confirmation. Do not say anything when you know who it is. Not straight away. Don't say anything. And ask your, um, if you need to, ask your team of highest light and resonance for confirmation through dream space, through dream state, 
four of cups because it will be revealed to you it will be revealed to you exactly who this person is that's coming in elder of swords upside down that cannot be trusted that cannot be trusted that is lying out there but okay five of cups to the elder of cups this person who wants to take from you because they see you as being a bit of a soft touch even though the elder of cups is you know someone who's very very compassionate someone who's very very kind but they're also an elder for a reason mm, yeah okay i'm gonna leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew if you are new to my channel and this resonated i'd love you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and if you are a return subscriber as always hearts kisses love you guys thank you so much for being here but with that being said um i hope you have an awesome morning afternoon evening or night i'll see you in the next one Bye.